a YouTube and um, <coughs> Sega Extreme. So, what I'm going to show you guys is actually um, not created by me, as usual. Not that skilled, um, apparently. No, um, still have a lot to learn with coding and whatnot. But anyways, so, <coughs> um, basically, somebody over at a... Um, <coughs> SegaExtreme.net, um, who goes by the name VBT, is working on porting um, Final Burn Alpha um, over to the Sega Saturn. Now, for those of you who don't know what Final Burn Alpha or FBA for short is, is it's actually like a multi-console, uh, sorry, multi-arcade and console emulator all rolled into one. Um, so it emulates a lot of old um, video game, uh, sorry, arcade games from old arcade cabinets, as well as, um, <coughs> excuse me, as well as um, certain um, older Sega systems. And when I say older Sega systems, I'm talking prior to the Genesis. Yes, they released stuff that was not just Genesis. Um, they released the Master System and the SG-1000. So, those were their previous consoles. But anyways, which most people have never even heard of. But, um, yeah, just, just a brief introduction. Um, but I'm just showing some videos so he can, um, mainly so VBT can see, um, what, you know, what bugs I've noticed. Um, as well as, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, sorry. Um, as well as letting you guys know how awesome this is that he's working on. Um, it's still a work in progress. There are issues, but um, that's kind of why I'm making this video. Um, but kudos to VBT for doing all this stuff. Um, awesome. So, yeah. Here we go guys, this is actually take two because I just went through this whole process and apparently my uh, laptop was not recording anything, lol. Well, Alright, so here we go, go through the process. So we'll start with Sega Master System, um, kind of go down the line a little bit, try a little bit of each thing. Um, So, this first game is called Outrun, um, very popular game, um, you know, for its time. Um, it was also available in the arcade. Now, there is a minor graphical glitch at the bottom of the screen, which you guys probably can't tell, um, because the screen's probably flashing everywhere for you guys, because I got an old CRT, um, that I try to record those, um, types of TVs, weird stuff happens. Um, there's, it's, yeah, I could get into the more details, but, I, yeah, I was going to do that. So this is Outrun. Uh, this one plays fine. Um, just a minor graphical glitches at the bottom, but let me, um, run it. So, and the sound is a little bit, um, uh, at but, certain points, but, pretty good. I'm terrible at this game, by the way. Lol. So, um, you guys probably can't see it because of my TV, but on the right hand side, um, the simulator actually keeps track of uh, the frame rate that the game is currently playing at, and this is hovering at about 50, which is really good. Thank you. 
We're going to go to Pitfall. Um, there are a couple minor um, graphical glitches. Actually, I only found one for the first time. Um, but that one plays fine. Well, actually, this emulator is pretty good. So we find it. And make sure my laptop's still recording. Okay, we're still recording. section so that was one game on master system so i don't know if there's some sort of button combination you could hit that you know magically um brings you back to the menu i can't seem to figure out what it is so just hard reset and in fact i'm actually shutting mine off and turning it back on because my reset button is broken so cool beans all right <clears throat> So we'll go to the SG-1000. I believe that that was prior to the... Um, master system. So you can already tell this this particular game, I'm not, I'm not going to fire it up. Um, it's called Bank Panic, but you, just the one it defaults into, it's really lagging. Um, so I'm going to go to Flicky first. For those of you who don't know what Flicky is, um, it was actually the inspiration for Sonic 3D Glass. Um, it's on a game where you go around and you um, have to save all the birds and, and bring them to safety. Well, that's this game came before that. Um, and in this game, you're actually a bird and you save other birds. So this is for the SG-1000, little bluebird here. Oh, okay. So I have played this um, on FBA, but it was the other, um, it was the arcade bird. So this is a little bit different. Gameplay is still the same, just, it's just, uh, all the rest of the graphics are the same. It's actually playing, um, at like full speed. Um, the other one for the arcade, which I'll show you guys after, is actually very laggy, but definitely playable. Um, just up the bird there. Those are like cats. 
Funny, I was getting annihilated the first time I thought I was recording this. Um, I'm actually getting pretty well. Simulator is actually very good, um, especially considering how difficult programming on Saturn really is. Um, this is very impressive. Slow. So you're in more. Okay, it was the triangle again. I don't know what that 
signifies in this game. To be honest. I just say I don't know if I would buy it with a lot of time out. Um, I don't know if it's my score or how it's calculated that, but... Sure, we're still recording, of course. Now let's go on to the next one. Pitfall 2. So this one, um, this was available on the Atari. Um, great game, or at least the first one was, because I played it. I used to have one um, as a kid, because I was collecting retro consoles even then. But anyways, the only thing I've noticed so far in this um, is one of the ropes disappeared, but that was it. Um, we'll try it. If I can catch anything else, or maybe I won't. Um, but this game seems to play just fine. So other than that, um, it was when I was underground the first time I thought I was recording. Um, I was trying to get the rope, and it literally disappeared. It was, I just, uh, Good at this one, huh? Yeah, he's right here. I don't know if you guys can see that rope, but the minute I climb up, that rope is gone. Oh, no, I got it though. Okay, cool beans. I can't go that way. Maybe that's an autograph of a glitch, maybe when you're on the second level you just can't, um, show you guys the arcade version of Flicky, um, which is a lot laggier than um, the one I just played for the SG-1000. So again, doing hard reset, because I don't know if there's a button combination of the because I can't figure it out. This one is definitely still playable, but very laggy. Um, Alright, so because this is an arcade game, I have to, it actually has to emulate because the game's expecting you to put a quarter in. Um, but of course, there's no way to put a quarter into a Saturn, so, um, you know, it's a workaround. You just press a certain button and that tells the game, hey, you burned a quarter, even though you really didn't. <laughs> So, some of the graphics are better, um, definitely not all there, but it's pretty laggy. Uh, definitely playable, which is laggy nonetheless. Um, and, uh, this one actually has no ways, unlike the other, like, just these weird 
uh, draw, you know, platforms that you drop them on in the uh, SG-1000 version. And I just died. So that's about it for now. I don't want to bore you guys to death, uh, you know, making you watch me play a game. So, or a bunch of games. But yeah, um, VBT, keep up the awesome work. Um, doing a great job on this. Um, keep it up. Alright.